Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Studio Jen where I teach you about everything related to creating videos and content for YouTube, showing you how to create designs, graphics, video editing and more. Today I'm going to show you my 5 favorite websites for getting free stock images, photos, illustrations, graphics and videos that you can use for your own projects. For all of these websites I'm going to show you, you can download these images for free and you can use these images to create your own unique YouTube thumbnails for your videos, or you can use them on your blog, in your own videos, on your website, and more. So for most of these websites, you do not need to sign up or create an account to download these images and media, and you don't need to give credit anywhere either, or provide a link to the photographer, designer, or videographer. So you can literally just go on these websites, browse, they have amazing, professional, beautiful photographs that you can use, and you can feel free to download, you can feel free to download these images, you can manipulate them, you can add your own logo and text and whatever you want on top of these images. And I have used a lot of these different websites for my own videos and my own thumbnails on my Jennifer Marie VO YouTube channel. Okay, so the first one I'm going to show you is unsplash.com. So here you can see there's all sorts of different categories you can explore. This is the internet source of freely usable images. You can go ahead and you know type something in. So let's say you wanted to create a business promo video you can use all of these, any of these images, and there's just dozens and dozens and dozens of them. You can also organize at the top. You can put in featured ones. You can look at wallpapers. You can look at, right now, they even have a COVID-19 category if you're looking for some COVID-19 related images for a promo. There's wallpapers you can use, textures and patterns, business and work all sorts of these. So let's say you find a image that you want to use. Let's say I like this image of this woman here. All you have to do is click on the image. Then you're going to go ahead over here and click on download free. You can click on this little arrow here and you can choose to download a small, medium or large image or the original size. So let's say I just want to download the medium sized image and automatically it has downloaded it. You can go ahead and open that image up and use it as you want. You can go ahead, change, you know, the style of it. You can add in a filter or add your own text. And what I want to show you here is the unsplash.com slash license. Unsplash photos are made to be used freely. Our license reflects that. All photos can be downloaded and used for free, commercial and non-commercial purposes. No permission is needed, though attribution is appreciated. So the only thing that is not permitted are photos cannot be sold without significant modification. So you can't, for example, example, and then sell it to someone else. And you cannot compile photos from Unsplash to replicate a similar or competing service. So if you decided to download all of these photos from Unsplash and then opened up your own stock free website, you can't do that. So these images are for you if you want to, you know, create your own thumbnails for your YouTube videos or put them in if you're making a slideshow or you're making a video or whatever you're doing. You can put them on your website, anything like that. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is Pixabay. And this one's great because it has all these different categories, photos, illustrations, vectors, which are like graphics, videos, and music as well. So let's go in here and let's say we'll type in, you know, city. Now at the top here they have, these are professional, images from iStock. So if you click on these, you do have to pay for these. So just ignore the ones at the top because this is sort of like an ad and you'll just scroll down and all of these ones down here are, these are just beautiful images. If you hover over them, you'll see how many people have liked it, how many people have starred it. Again, just click on the one that you like. And again, you can click on a free download and then choose the size that you want to download and click download. You do not have to register, but if you're not a registered user, then you'd have to just click this to, you know, confirm you're not a robot and then click download. And again, crediting isn't required, but linking back is greatly appreciated. But again, it's not required. So you don't have to do this only if you wanted to go ahead. And here's the beautiful image that you can feel free to use on your website or in your video. This is also great because this one has illustrations even, so you can just click on that. You can look at all these really cool illustrations that you can use and you could open these up on your own 
you know, say you like this one has this cool little hand washing one, which is really relevant right now. And this is a PNG file. So you could go ahead and upload this and PNG file. So you could go ahead and upload this and change it and modify it to make it your own image as well. If you have a, you know, a program like Illustrator or Corel Draw or something like that. There's also vectors and there's all sorts of really cool little ones that you can look at videos as well. So if you're wanting to create your own YouTube uh, video and you want to put a compilation of different videos together, you can go ahead and browse through all of these or just search for whatever you're looking for here. Again, the sponsored videos are at the very top here with this little banner. So just scroll down here. You can see there's 202 free videos related to COVID. So you can go ahead and look at all of these different videos. And again, you just click on it and you'd go ahead and click on free download to download this. You can also search for music as well. If you go to the Pixabay FAQ, can I use your copy, modify, distribute, and use the images even for commercial purposes, all without asking for permission or giving credits to the artist. However, depicted content may still be protected by trademarks, publicity, or privacy rights. So you're allowed to go ahead and use them. You can use them on Facebook or social media platforms. Again, this is the sort of thing that you can't open up your own similar website to Pixabay and take these images and try to, you know, create your own free stock images website, but you can use these in your social media, on your website, in your videos. The next one is one of my favorite ones is stocksnap.io. And again, this has beautiful different photos, so many different categories. You can go ahead and click on trending. And these are all these different ones here. All of these images are all really popular ones right now. Oh, there's some sexy images too. <laughs> you can see that these are all trending images right now. Again, you just click on it. If you want to download, download it. Now over here to the side, when I just clicked on this, these images here pop up. These are sponsored by Shutterstock. So if you know, Shutterstock is a website where you can buy images to use, but that's really expensive to get the rights to use them. So don't click on these ones here because these are, will take you to Shutterstock. So to download this image, you just scroll down and you can click on free download. And again, it will download the image for you. And boom, I could use this really cool image you know, even put on my own cool little text here and make it my own. If you really like, say I really like this image and I'm like, whoa, I wonder what this girl or woman or man or whoever took this image. And then you can see this person has all sorts of other really cool images. And I think I'm gonna use some of these for my next video tutorial actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and click a star on this because I really like these ones, these really cool images and they're all free to use. use. Again, the stocksnap.io FAQ. The reason I'm showing you all of this is because I, I want to show you that you can use these for sure, <clears throat> that there's no like small fine print that says that you need to cite or reference who the photographer is. So it says, what license do stock snap photos fall under? They've all been released under the Creative Commons license, which allows you to download, copy, modify, and distribute the photos, even for commercial purposes, all without asking permission. So they're free to use for both personal and commercial projects. So what that means is if you made your own video on YouTube or your own website and you use these images on it, it's okay. And also let's say you were creating a video or a slideshow for a client and you want to compile a bunch of these together, you can also do that. It would be one thing if you downloaded a photo from StockSnap and then sold that photo for $20 to someone. You can't do that because the photo is free, but say you used a bunch of these different photos and created a video or in a slideshow for someone one and you know that like project that you put together for a client so that's different and you can use that again you do not have to give photographers credit of course they say it's always appreciated but you don't have to um, give credit okay the next one is called burst.shopify.com and here there are free stock photos for websites and commercial use so again, you can search for by the collections, animals around the world, backgrounds, beauty. Let's click on beauty. And they've got all sorts of really cool different categories. Say you're looking for a portrait of a woman to use or a man or something. You can use any of these and there's all really nice, very professional looking images. 
So let's say I like this image here. You can go ahead. You can choose if you want to download it as a high resolution or low resolution. So let's say I want to download this as higher resolution. I'm going to click download free, download free photo. And again, just like that, the photo has been downloaded and I can go ahead and use this um, for my own website. And this one's great because I'm not seeing any ads here. So I'm pretty sure all of these different website, um, all of these different images I can go ahead and use. And there's all sorts of really great professional ones. They also have a section for new photos. So all of the different latest photos that are coming in, you can click on top downloads to see the ones that people you know, are downloading the most that they like the most. Okay. So here we have the photo license for burst. This photo is made available for use under a non-exclusive license to download, copy, modify, distribute, perform, display, and use in accordance with this license and the terms of service. So you are free to adapt and use this licensed photo for free for commercial and non-commercial purposes, provided that you are not permitted to sell any licensed photos such as digital photo files or in any other form. Again, you do not need to provide, not need to provide attribution to the photographer. Okay. So as long as you're not creating a website similar to this and saying you you have your own stock image website, you can go ahead and use them to your heart's content. The final website I'm going to show you is another very popular one for stock photos and videos. It's called pexels.com and you can search for photos and videos. So let's look at, for example, customer service photos. There's all sorts of them here. Let's say I really like this one, this woman here I'm going to click on it. Go ahead, click on free download. You can again download it as whatever size you want. You can even put in a custom size. Let's say I want to download the medium one. Click free download. And boom, it's downloaded this image and now I can go ahead and use it. Again, you can click on the author to see what other similar images they have or if you really like their style, which is really cool. I'm going to click on the again and then click on free videos. So this will allow you to search just for the video. So let's say I want to search for business related video. Let's say I'm putting together, um, you know, some sort of slideshow, go ahead, click on the video and it'll give you a nice little preview of the video. And then again, you can download the original size or you can choose a smaller size, click on free download. And then the video will be downloaded as an MP4 file. You can go ahead and use that in your video. So actually for all of these different websites, we did not need to create an account. It's just that easy to download and search for videos. And again, we have the license here. What is allowed? All photos and videos on pixels are free to use. Attribution is not required. Giving credit to the photographer is not necessary, but always appreciated. Again, you can videos and be creative um, with them as you like. And again, how can you use these stock images? How can you use these videos? You can use them on your website, blog, or app, whether it's a website, e-commerce shop, newsletter, ebook, presentation, blog, or a template you sell, promote your product, create unique ads, banners, and marketing campaigns with photos from Pexels and promote your product, print marketing material, flyers, postcards, invitations, magazines, albums, books, CD covers, and more. Share them on social media. And then what is not allowed, you can't sell unaltered or unmodified copies of a photo or video without modifying it first. Okay, so this is basically being a review of the five best websites that I have found for the top quality stock photos, free stock photos, free royalty-free images and videos that you can use in all of your projects without having to pay money. Because when you're trying to make money online, if you have to go on a website like Shutterstock and 40 bucks, 100 bucks just for an image to use it, especially when you're starting out trying to create a business or trying to um, create a presence online, it will cost too much money and you don't need to do that, especially when you're just starting out. You can find anything you need on any of these websites. So thank you once again for tuning in to Studio Gen. If you like this video, please click like, subscribe to my channel, Studio Gen, for more videos just like this one. And feel free to leave in the comments any sort of uh, questions you have about becoming a creator for YouTube. What would you like me to teach you? What do you want to learn about how to make money on YouTube, how to create your own channel and get started? 
Um, and I will be happy to answer your questions and create more videos to provide you with value so you can actually really start to make money doing what you love to do, creating content for YouTube. So thank you once again for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial.